working on my bird cage for my uh, kitchen centerpiece. And so what I've done is that I've, if you saw my fall kitchen centerpiece, you know that I had put um, pine garland down into the bottom of the bird cage. Now, since it's Christmas winter, and winter, and to be honest with you, we had snow just yesterday, then what I needed to do was to add just enough little snowiness around so that you really get the feel of the fallen snow. So I have added some uh, snowy garland to this particular uh, bird cage to give it that little winteriness and I'm just in the process of trying to make sure I've pulled all these little pieces down so that you can really get the full effect. And I left the lights in that were already in. And, and I really encourage you to go back and to take a look at the, the fall uh, centerpiece so that you can see exactly how I got all of this in there because that greenery that's on the inside is quite tight. And it's actually going to be able to, because um, pine is, a, is an evergreen, it's going to be around and it's going to stay in this bird case. It's going to become a signature piece of this, of this table. And so with each season, I'm going to change it so that you can see how you don't have to totally tear it apart in order to have something beautiful on your table. Now, so I've got that part now. Now what I did was that I went in also leaving the lights in, uh, first of all, to make sure that they were in. I have, uh, I'm just kind of working with that. Uh, you'll see the lights are there and this little snowy piece makes quite a mess. Now I'm going to take some pieces of picks and it's quite early so I'm trying to stay out of the camera if possible. I'm taking some wintry picks and finding a spot and they have beautiful snowy leaves also with little pine cones that I want to work into this arrangement. And you can see how pretty. So I'm gonna get some more of those and that's what I'm gonna put around the bottom of the wreath. You'll see that I'm staying with my candy cane look. There's the flowers. I'm not finished over there, but the wreath is finished. And so I'm working to get the table ready. All right, I'm gonna bring you up and point you down so you can see how I've added those pieces in. So I'm gonna take a few more and these came from Walmart. They were very reasonable. In fact, they were only 90, 99, 98, 97 cents. Oh, it was great. I couldn't have asked for a better price. Look at that one, isn't that beautiful? Now I'm gonna actually put that one right there. I'm gonna point it down. And I'm gonna work that in right there and just let it kind of blend in with the pine that's there. And I'll still be working with this top piece. This piece right here came from Walmart as well. And it was actually a wreath. And it was just a little small snowy wreath and just perfect for adding a special touch. Most of my wreaths were a little too large to um, try to see how many of these I have. So I'm going to have to, that one's there. I'm going to make more of a triangular look with this. I'm going to bring this right here. So we'll get the pine cone and the berries and give it a little twist, add that all in together. We have the pine cone and the leaves on each corner. And let's see, I have one odd one. And I think I'm gonna stick that in somewhere. Let's see, I put two close ones here. So I guess I'll add another one. Let me take the tag off, that might help. Who wants that red tag? 
Here you'll see inside of the bird cage. I hope I brought you up close enough. You look right there. I've got this cute little red cardinal that is sitting in there. And he's just tucked in. There we go. Now I'm going to open this. Now I have to be careful when I put things down into this uh, arrangement because I do have an actual Yankee candle that is inside. So I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to add this snowy and what I'm really doing is camouflaging my box that the lights uh, that turns turns the lights on. These are not uh, those that I can just set with a timer. So you know, sometimes you pick up the ones with the timers on sale and sometimes you don't. And I think when I picked it up, I thought I had one with, with the timer. Now, just to show you how messy it is, I don't know if you can see, but it has made quite a mess on the table. So we're going to have to get all of this cleaned up. Now, on top, because I have so much going on and I really want the eye drawn to the what's going on here I thought well I'm going to keep the the topper it's going to have the color but I wanted to pick up the florals and I made my my um, bow my red and white bow and I added I just it's one of those with picks at, from Hobby Lobby and I added the pick and the poinsettia because the red is beautiful. And I wanted it to just fit right in with what we were doing here. So I am attaching this. And you know, normally when I attach flowers, I usually do it with the, you know, I put, um, uh, little pieces of ribbon onto it. But these were already made and I actually had used them on my window wreaths. And I paid a fortune at that point. It was early and uh, in the season, I didn't have time to do all the, all the making of the bows. And so because of that, whoops, I thought you could see. All right, so let's put you back just a little bit so you can see that I've attached the bow. Like I said, I'm trying my best to stay out of this because this is turkey morning and uh, I am downstairs trying to get this done before I'm really prepared for everyone to see the face. You know me, I have to put the face on and uh, my hubby and I celebrated our anniversary, and uh, we had we had a good time. We just spent a day doing what we do. We we love to hang out, and uh, we had one of those hangout days where we just kind of went from spot to spot and places we wanted to go, and just messed around and had a good time. So we were determined we weren't going to stay in the house, even though it was cold, and they were expecting you know, possible inclement weather, and uh, we just enjoyed the day. So I'm going to take this little branch right here and kind of pull it in so we can see it. I think you can see. And uh, now it is time to get that, uh, get this table clean and get ready to set it. Now I'm going to take just a moment to see if I can turn it off so you can see it with the lights. The lights are still there and uh, there they are. There it is. I'm going to give it a turn so you can see all the sides. Now it may be that if I find a few more, at least one more string of lights, I may decide to add a few more lights, but for the time being, and I think when the candle's lit, I'm not going to want 
uh, anything else. Now, should you decide to do something like this, this is something to keep in mind. Keep the wig cut short, like a fourth of an inch. And the reason for that is so that the flame will not be very high. Because you see, I've got things up here at the top. I don't want those to get too hot. And so we're going to keep that wick cut short all the time. Really, I only burn this if we're actually having company. Other than that, this one doesn't burn. Now, the one that's over on the counter, I burn all the time. But this one is not the one that I use for that. So our centerpiece, guys, is complete. Is complete. And I'm very happy with that. So we're going to let it snow and we are going to enjoy our Christmas kitchen centerpiece. Thank you for staying with me long enough in order to get this done and to allow me for a moment to stay out of the picture. And when I get ready to do the tablescape, which is gonna be in just a matter of minutes, then I'll be ready for the camera. Enjoy. All right, at this kitchen table, I have uh, a Let It Snow placemat. And this Let It Snow placemat, it's so pretty, it's bright red with uh, white sparkly snowflakes. Now, we are going to add those dishes that I showed you a couple of videos earlier. The ones with the cute little snowmen that actually I had gotten way, 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 way back when I first got married and had children. And this was one of the first sets of Christmas dishes that I had. So I'm being nostalgic at this table. Now I'm gonna start, I wanted to be a little bit fancy, but a little bit plain. So I'm gonna start with my white charger. Get that in place. I'm gonna use a white plate underneath because we do need a plate. I'm going to use a the saucer that came along with it, the salad plate. I have that next and you can see him. He's so cute in his little uh, navy pants, I guess you call them. Or actually, that's his vest, his navy vest with his muffler. I'm going to wrap a navy napkin around there and I'm going to place another snowman bowl on top and that's going to be at each of the locations. So let me raise you up and you can see the full table with the centerpiece. I'm going to lower the lights just a bit to see if you can see the, whoop, yep, there they are. See the lights on the table, because the centerpiece has lights as well. You know, I'm thinking, I'm looking at this thinking, huh, maybe I need to put a few more lights in there, but I don't want to overdo it. But that's the kitchen setting. I'm gonna turn the light back on, and you can see that each bowl has a different snowman, one holding a star, and one holding a tree, and that's the way the set goes. So each one brings to the table a little something different. And here we're back to the fellow with the star at another setting. So there's our centerpiece, which I think turned out beautiful in our bird cage and our kitchen table. It doesn't have to be glam, glam, glam to still be absolutely beautiful. So my family 
is going to love this setting. And we're going to have a lot of fun right here, letting it snow at this table.